Welcome back guys. We've got an exciting GS Pro release for you today. Actually releases, it's two courses. That is Central Park North and South. So this is fictional golf inside Central Park in New York City, designed by R. Dyer and Run Pud Run, two veteran GS Pro course designers. They spent a ton of hours on this project. If you want to donate to help offset some of their time, I'll put a link down in the video description. You can buy them a beer, send them five bucks, whatever but this has been released by them into the GS Pro game in general. It's not in a Patreon. If you have GS Pro, you have access to this already. Really an awesome project. They said there were over a thousand 3D buildings built into this and over a thousand cars driving around the park. So really cool project. And I hope to show you what's in this course or courses in this video, just kind of give you an overview of everything. So let's get right into it. This is the driving range. The way that you can get to this is by going to local match and picking uh, either Central Park North or South, either one, and in the match settings, you can just click head to the range. Unlike Riverwalk Skills Challenge, you don't have to open this up in on-course practice. It seems to be working just fine in local match, but you hit head to the range for the course. And it will open up here. There are multiple mini games within the driving range, and this is the first one. This is just free score. You've got a bunch of floating targets, and you can hit to whichever one you want and score points for hitting the target. If you haven't seen this before, this works just like the Riverwalk Skills Challenge course. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a scoreboard. You can put in player names, you can put the number of players and edit it, that kind of thing as you want. Or if you're just by yourself, you can just play the game by yourself. Starts off free score, just hit to the floating targets. Next one is gonna be Sharpshooter. So Sharpshooter is uh, same floating targets, except it's going to highlight the target that it wants you to hit to. And you will get points only by hitting that target. Once you hit it, it'll highlight a different one. And so it kind of gives a great randomized practice and uh, it's pretty cool. Also notice uh, right by the ball on the right side of the screen, there's a little plaque that will show you the rules for the game that you have pulled up. Next one is ladder climb. This is going to put out one target in front of you. Once you hit that target, it will move the green back to the next target and you have to hit each one to continue moving on. That would be a great warm up just to kind of get your distances in as you take, start out with uh, little pitch shots and go all the way back. So another cool one, ladder climb. Then of course you've got a long drive challenge, not my specialty but it actually is a really good way if you just wanna practice your driver. In this case, you've got a, uh, what does it say? A 37 yard wide fairway and you get one point, I think, for every 10 yards over 200 yards. Just uh, a good way to focus on hitting your driver within a fairway and as far as you can. Pretty cool driver practice. Now this one is definitely different. We've got a game of tic-tac-toe you can play. Obviously this one would be better with multiple players. Of course you are trying to hit the squares to either put an X or an O, whichever one you are, on the target and try to win tic-tac-toe against your partner. Pretty cool idea. Yeah, tic-tac-toe. Now we've got water pong. You may have played a similar game to this, maybe with ping pong and uh, maybe put your favorite beverage in one of these cups. This is the golf version, the GS Pro version of that game, water pong. So every time you hit the ball into one of the cups, the cup gets taken away and uh, the game is to try and clear out all of the cups. So another fun, unique idea to uh, practice these short chip and pitch shots. Now we also have a darts game. Obviously you're gonna hit the ball towards the dartboard and the objective is to score 301 points exactly to win. Obviously darts is a multiplayer game, but it's plenty of fun just trying to do it by yourself and get that 301 points to uh, win the game. So really cool idea there as well. I actually got myself a bullseye, so. That was fun. All right, I have to say this one is a little wild. This is the first game in GS Pro that I think you're actually supposed to hit people. So this one is called Yacht Chaos and the objective is to 
hit the people on the yacht with your golf ball. I think the plaque says something like the yacht was told to move multiple times and they didn't, so now they are fair game. So you're trying to pick off these people partying on the GS Pro yacht. Pretty cool. They're actually harder to hit than you would think, but uh, I managed to, to get one of them. All right, this one is a really cool idea. This is blackjack. The object is to score 21 without busting. So you have to hit the cards that you want to basically draw. It's got a little plaque there, again, with the rules. The ace of hearts is worth 11. The other ace is worth one. And obviously jack, queen, king, and 10 are worth 10 points. And everything else is worth face value. And again, just like blackjack, you want to get as close to 21 without busting. Very different, really good idea. Now, this last one is called fire and ice. I have to say, I had the hardest time with this one out of anything else. The objective is to hit and break the glass panels without hitting into the fire. So you're gonna score points breaking the glass. You're gonna lose points if you hit into the fire. I found it super hard because these are short, shots and all of that stuff in all the games is actually i think six yards yeah six yards below your feet so you're hitting a really low shot had trouble with this one but really cool fire and ice those are all the games within the driving range but that is like i said just the driving range there are still 36 holes of golf i got a chance to play several of the holes on both Central Park North and Central Park South. Very cool course. I love these kinds of courses. The Wynn Golf Club is one of my favorites. That one is on the uh, Vegas Strip. So you've got all the real casinos and hotels and everything in the background. Love that course. This one reminds me a lot of that. You're in Manhattan and Central Park. You see cars driving by if you're on the outside edge. You've got all of these buildings, skyscrapers and everything in there. I just love things that are pretty different. So we'll share some of those highlights of uh, me playing the course, but I want to take you around and kind of fly through a little bit just to show you what we're looking at. If you don't know how to do uh, free flight mode, you're gonna hit F5 and then hold down your right mouse button. I'll hit F5 and up here it says free flight mode active by the whole number and then hold down your right mouse button and you can look around and then you can use WASD on your keyboard to move forward, backward, left and right. So I just like to go up into the air and you can hold down shift to speed up. And so there's the, the first green. This gives you kind of a, a look around the whole park. So you can see that the entire park is surrounded by skyscrapers and I am in I think Central Park North but you can see the south course from here because they're basically on the same map. Let's just go up into the air and kind of kind of look around. There's plenty of water and uh, trees. What do we have down here? Oh that looks like a, uh, a clubhouse. Central Park Golf Clubhouse. Got cars in the parking lot. Really cool stone, looks like a stone bridge. Let's see if I can go to the outside of the course. You see there's cars driving by. So these holes that are on the outside, you're gonna see some, some traffic and stuff as you play. Good. Falling over. Oh, 
Ach. Ah. Go. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for Central Park. Go download the course, check it out. I don't wanna make this video too long. There's 36 holes. I'm not gonna turn that into an entire video, but like I said, I'll put the link down in the description if you wanna to donate to these guys that put all this out there for us. Um, and uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Thanks.